there we go. When you look at Denny Hamlin back there in the 11 car, they have made change after change after change tonight. He started 17th. He has climbed up to 12. The car has been tight every run tonight. Continue to make changes, Ralph. They just cannot get that car to be free. Well, Casey Kane, Matt, has been struggling with a very loose race car all night long. They've made wholesale changes on that track bar wedge. You name it, they've done it. It's starting to finally tighten up a little bit in the middle of the run. Still not good enough to get deeper into the field, Phil. Yeah, Ralph Dale and Hunter Jr. now running in the 14th position, his highest position of the race. They lowered the track bar and made an air pressure just, adjustment. That last pit stop, it seems to be working. Junior's a little bit happier with the car. David Reagan, if there's anybody on earth that can use a good run, it's David Reagan. He's having a great run today, running right now up in the 15th position. Four tires on his last pit stop lap, number 131, with some air pressure adjustments, Matt. AJ, I don't think we've seen some excitement tonight. We showed you earlier when he bounced off the wall, left a big donut down the wall. His team has worked on that right side, especially the corner of that spoiler. It's now back to where it was earlier in the race, and that's just on the tight side, Phil. Yeah, Matt, Matt Kenseth came back in for the Jimmy Johnson spin, so he has about six laps of fuel more than the rest of the guys do. He came in for four tires, no adjustment, because they were so far at the back. Right now, is the car a little bit loose? Up off the corner, up off the corner, Matt. Martin. Mark Martin back there in 18th. He said his car, just not what he wants right now, a little bit too loose. And he said, we need to get some momentum going. Told me when we were riding around the track earlier today, we've had just one top 10 on the last line races. We can get there, just need to be consistent, Matt. One of four places Jimmy Johnson's never won. Would love to put a big check mark next to that on his racing resume. Trying to climb back up, though, through the field, hit it twice after that spin on that 138 and 139. The car, though, now on the tight side. He's dialed a little rear brake into it, Marty. Matt, I was talking to Brad Keselowski earlier this week, and he said, you know, we've had two DNFs in our last three races. I just want a top 20 finish this weekend so we can start building a little bit. Guess what? Right now, running 20th with a car that's been loose for most of the night. Battle for the lead, Adam. And it's Jeff Gordon to the inside of Jamie McMurray. Gordon slowly wrote, reeling him in, and he's able to grab the top spot at lap 165, our third different leader of the night. More on McMurray now running second with Matt Yoko. And he told Kevin Bono Mannion that when the 24 of Gordon got to him, and would start to get around him. He was going to move back up to the high side. The car just way too free. He said, we really need to make a bigger change on tightening up this one car on our next stop. Maddie's under attack again. Here comes Rudiman in the third position. And this is and this is the time where the track changes drastically. You know, it, this is where the temperature really changes on these cars. So if, if you've got a decent setup right now, you know, you, you start Start making adjustments, but you don't have to go too far. Some of these guys, though, are going to have to make some pretty big adjustments. Like Larry was talking in the keys of the race, that everybody's trying to look for that balance right now, and, and you either go big adjustments or you just try to you know keep up with what you have. Yeah, but you know the, the guys that, that needed to make adjustments, they should have made them the first two stops. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. When you're 100 laps to go in the race, and basically that's where we are. We've run 160 laps. It's tough to make a big adjustment and come from 18 to win this race, unless you're Jimmy Johnson, who has already been to the front he's just got to work his way back and guys the way this race is going right now you may only get about two more opportunities to make adjustments i'm going to see possibly green flag stops in about 20 laps and that will make it a one-stop race there goes rudiman around mcmurray he is up to the runner-up position the track it is a changing the lights are on at chicago land the sun just about gone on the horizon Jeff Gordon leading David Rudiman by 1.3 seconds at Chicago. 173 of 267 laps complete here this evening. And while Gordon is looking very good on track, it has been no picnic for his teammate. Jimmy Johnson had the spin through the grass, and he's been on pit road again after this. Yeah, that, that's what put him in the wall right there. What are they saying about that, Matt? Well, a good example of the considerable wear on that right front. And 
Jimmy pitted back on lap 138 when he spun, but on the previous stop to that, when he pitted, he had the same wear issue on that right front. Remember, Jimmy's been fighting tight much of the night and just wearing out that right front. And he was 19th when he popped the wall and had to make the pit stop, Matt. He's now scored two laps down in the 33rd position. That, that can't be a wear issue. Yeah. He just put those tires on. I mean, that's a tire issue. Well, yeah, that, that, I, I don't understand that being a wear issue because he's run half the distance or, or two-thirds of the distance at most yeah. that these other guys have had, and he's, a, he's the only guy that's had an issue. And the way that tire looked, you know, Goodyear is, will ta obviously take a look at that tire and see if it's something in the car setup or if maybe that's just a, a, a bad tire. You see, I, I usually, want, like, if you get a tire that blisters, you know, you'll see blisters here, here, here. This thing just came apart. That's really unusual to see a tire, you know, to do that. He could have even run over something. It just looked like it looks like it unwound. Yeah. When you look at like it, a it's like, like a retread, it's like the inside cap came off the inside of the tire. But these guys run a lot of static camber. They run a lot. They run really stiff in the front as you see Tony's car bounce up the racetrack. So that it's really, really hard on the Goodyear tires. We've run two races oh, here with the nationwide race and now with the cup race. And really nobody's had any tire issues that I know of. Maybe some teams have had some, but I, I thought the Goodyear tire that they brought has been a phenomenal tire here. Hmm. Saw Tony Stewart go around Martin Truex Jr. Smoke, who started inside the top five tonight, had a pit road miscue that put him outside the top 15. He's in position now, being scored in the eighth position.